Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim and this video will be featuring both deadlifts and bench press against heavy bands and an extra workout at the end. I got to begin with a complaint about deadlifts against bands. I had some food poisoning so that means I had to rush to the bathroom several times during the workout but despite that I managed to hold myself together in more ways than one and I nailed 185 kilos against three sets. So. Oh, that's 185 kilos against bands for 3 sets. I progressed very aggressively this workout by cutting out a set with 160 kilos uh, on the lighter end of the spectrum and instead I added a set with 185 kilos which, which was a single at the end. So the overall volume is the same, I've shuffled the reps around. Uh, the first set has me doing uh, 4 reps instead of the usual 3. And uh, so basically I've shuffled it around, I've kept the volume the same at 15 reps but the average workload is a lot more. So there's a big jump in that and I had to really struggle at the top with 185 kilos on the singles. You guys will notice. The first set with 185 kilos for a triple, uh, it was more or less smooth. It's been done before. The next set also was pretty okay. Uh, third set was, uh, <laughs> that was really, really difficult. At the same time, I didn't fail uh, the first attempts on sets 4 and 5 like I usually do. The only failure in the first attempt happened on the last set when I was finally, like I mentioned, uh, really reaching. In my previous uh, videos and journal entries, I have mentioned that I want to cut back the overall volume on deadlifts because I'm going to be performing them more frequently. So keeping this in mind, I reduced my work sets on deadlifts, on regular deadlifts to just two big sets with 225 kilos with which I got three reps and two reps respectively. I did a burnout set with 185 kilos for six reps at the end, very smooth, all good stuff despite the difficulties with my health. Sometimes you just need to go in there and power through. And actually, to be honest, a lot of the time this is the reality of maximal strength training. Uh, fatigue, you being human and falling sick, stuff like that will catch up to you. You just gotta keep powering through. The second workout in this video is an extra session that I squeezed in before bench work. I think I was too overzealous in my endeavor because it compromised my bench workout in terms of quality. And I'll expand on this later, but just to give you guys a heads up, it has to do with biceps. Uh, the extra workout began with uh, front squats and I've complained about how frustrating uh, I've been finding these to be recently. Well, extra workouts like these give me an opportunity, or at least I like to look at it that in this manner. Uh, they give me an opportunity to play around with exercises and develop certain techniques to better myself as a, as a trainee. Now, these extra workouts, there's no real a, a plan in mind. I mean, there's no real... St uh, uh, oh, there's no real set of rules with this workout it's just that in my head I have a plan that I wanna I wanna hit some squats or whatever squat variation is going on um, after that I wanna do some back work because like I mentioned before I've been doing a lot of pressing and uh, it's been affecting my shoulders and whenever I don't uh, focus on, on back work it tends to make them unstable so the moral, mor the moral of the story is not to cut down on the pressing but just that if I'm gonna be pressing a lot I gotta up, up my game and up my volume and up everything on my back work so this, these are my general themes that I have in my head I also wanted to hit, hit biceps and triceps because I find that to be important a lot of my pain that I feel in, in my shoulders it tends to go away as soon as I imp as soon as I increase my pulling stuff so as soon as I do more rows plus I do biceps it's like boom it feels there's a world of a difference but not immediately and this was an example of that that I should have postponed this arm work to the end of my of my bench press uh, day um, I'll get I'll get into that later now as I began this extra workout I realized that I've been making several small errors on front squats uh, which have been making which have been di made difficult for me so one of them is that I've been too obsessed with hitting depth so I keep staring at my hips in the mirror instead of looking at the bar. This tiny change uh, led me to not caving in so much. And this leads me to my second point, in fact. In my enthusiasm to hit good depth, I've been rolling forward. Now usually because of the heavy weight we all use for front squats, this shoulders rolling forward, this back rounding at the top, uh, the upper back rounding, it's normal. But there's always resistance that we're, we're not doing it intentionally. So we are giving a resistance to that from happening. 
but uh, because I and be, because I'm trying to hit depth, I'm forgetting to do that. And I have in the past developed a means of distributing the load of the bar onto my lats, and I've been forgetting how to how to how to get that back. And this is a wake up call for me. So all I need to do is not stress about depth, and instead just focus on staying tight and keeping the load distributed onto my back. This tiny tweak has helped me in all my workouts since then. I've put in uh, this extra workout. I did my I did front squats again on bench press day two with the bands, and then I did front squats today as well, which was another extra workout. But that's not going to be included in this video. It's going to go into the next set of videos that will come, which will have my next set of deadlift videos. So forget forget about that for now. So these are important points that I had had the opportunity to play around with because I was spending that extra time doing uh, front, do, doing this extra workout. Uh, after front squats, I did some direct back work uh, via rows. I've recorded a set with 65 kilos, which is purely for ego. Don't think I'm hitting rows like this to promote growth. Doing shit form super heavy rows does no no real good for my li overall lifting. Now, in terms of just faith and purely anecdotal evidence. I believe these rows tend to keep, help keep me stable on deadlifts, but that is probably just wishful thinking. The last set of rows was brutal. I used a very light weight and I paused at the top of every third rep in that set. I'm taking this exercise, this little technique, uh, up as a page from Diesel Cruise Exercise Archive. So I gotta give credit where credit is due, and it's a good uh, twist. Next up, I did some gripper training with the fat grips and after that I did arm work via supersets. I think this small measly amount of bicep work has fucked me up bad though because the last two days, <laughs> two days have gone by and I'm still sore and I've got sore biceps and I'm worried about my third deadlift workout that is supposed to go down tomorrow. The immediate effect of bicep work was random cramps and catches that I experienced and the general soreness made my bench pressing very unstable. If you look closely, you'll notice that my overall numbers on bench are the same from last time but my quality is very much... Uh, it's still it's not as good as my normal standard. On bench press day 2, I did some barbell rows after the bench work and grip prevent training and then I went back to front squats and I'm happy to say that I nailed 140 for, for a single and I was very confident when I did that. So I'm very very happy. This has been a good uh, few sessions. I hope to keep this up. Thank you very much for your love and support guys. I uh, That's pretty much all that I have to say. I got some heavy uh, lifting coming up soon. So stay stick around. Hopefully my workouts go well. And I will be posting videos of that soon. Thank you very much.